Hello, my YouTube family. Well, it is Wednesday, April 29th. One more day before payday, people. And yes, I did get my review. Can we do lips of the day first, please? Can we do lips of the day first? Let's do lips of the day first. Here we go. And he's making an appearance today. Say hi to the family. Okay, so let's do lips of the day because you can't miss them. Okay, you just, they're right there, right in front of you. Cannot miss them. Let us start off with the liner. Jordana Cabaret. Aligned and fit. I did a lip look on this before, but it's been a while. I don't know how long. This is an 028 Cherry Blossom Revlon, of course. Revlon Super Lustrous. And this is Cherry Blossom, people. It's not a true red because there's a droplet, just a droplet, of pink in it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's there. It's not, it's not Cherries in the Snow because Cherries in the Snow is pinker, but it's in the Cherries in the Snow family. This is from the Shanghai collection from like, hey, back when, I don't know when that was, 2012, 2013. <sighs> but I love this shade ever so. I have so many lipsticks. Even after my purge in December, I still have so many lipsticks that I forgot that I had, and this was one of them, and I'm glad so glad I remembered this. Love this lipstick. Okay, so that's that with that upon that as far as lips of the day is concerned. Um, yeah, I did have my review. She almost forgot me again, but she remembered later because we were supposed to have the review at 10 o'clock. She didn't call me until 11.30 or so, 11.30, quarter to 12. Oh, I know, I know. I said it was ten o'clock, but you know things have been just so crazy. Do you want to? Do you want to get your 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 review now? Yes, yes, I do. So I went in all bright and happy. I could win an Academy Award for the acting that I do on a daily basis. Okay. Oh, you know, you've just been so wonderful and we love having you as our receptionist and blah, blah, this and blah, blah, that. Because, you know, the other shoe's about to drop, right? Praise you, praise you, praise you. And then the other shoe is going to drop. And, you know, you've taken on the new responsibilities that we've given you so well and this, this and the other. But now I'm thinking, here it comes. Here it comes. The excuse for not giving me a raise. Here it comes. Um, You know, we feel that you should take on... You should be more proactive in, uh, you know, your your phone situation, and this is, and I'm go, and I'm thinking, well, could you be a little bit more specific? And she goes, yeah, you know, like as far as like if we have calls coming in and you're not sure who they should be sent to, you should just put that person on hold and call us and let us know who it is and what their, you know, what their interest is, and then we can direct you to who the per person is. And I go, you know, I've done that. I've done that, but every time I try calling you guys, either it'd be you or Stacy or Jen or, you know, anybody or Alyssa, uh, nobody is, nobody is answering the phone. Oh, well, in that case, you know, just send it to our voicemail. And I go, that, that's what I do. Oh, well, you know, you should just still continue to be proactive. So basically, you're trying to tell me that because... You're not doing your part in this whole situation. It's going to end up being my fault anyway. So, of course, at the end, she gives me, because th there's like a physical paper review and everything. Um, You know, we had to lower a, a number of yours because of, you know, we want you want to we wanting you to be more proactive. I was going to let loose the wrath of God, but I didn't. 
I said, okay, you know, I'll work on that. I'll definitely work on that. As a matter of fact, next year, I'm going to go two boxes up. Instead of needing improvement, I am going to be excellent. And she goes, that's what I like to hear. That's why I like you so much, Nancy, because you're just so positive. Throughout that entire time, not a mention of a raise was even brought up. So I get paid tomorrow, and supposedly the raises are supposed to be in this paycheck. If the paycheck looks exactly the same, I'll know why. And I will just continue to keep doing the same damn thing I'm doing. Okay? Because regardless of whether I call you or not call you, you're not there to pick up the phone anyway. So why should I? Okay. So that's that's it. That's that. With that upon that, I have an empty, and I am just devastated that this is gone. <sighs> my Too Faced people, my Too Faced Shadow Insurance is finished. They, you would think that there's something out down here, but it's completely empty. You know, I squeezed it to the last drop. Finished. So now I'm using my NYX high definition eyeshadow base and I'm realizing that the eyeshadow base is not really a primer but for some reason the the eyeshadows I'm not wearing eyeshadow today of course but the eyeshadows do stick with this so I'm just gonna use this as a primer I don't know what the difference is between a base and a primer somebody needs to to figure to help me out in this one. even out skin tone and smooth out lines perfect prep for true color and long-lasting eyeshadow so it's a primer. Be camera ready in an instant. So why would they call it a base if it's a primer? I don't understand. It evens out skin tone, your eyelid, I'm assuming, and smooth out lines from your eyelids. Perfect prep for true color and long-lasting eyeshadow. Isn't that what a primer does? It doesn't say anything in the back of this one. But I'm assuming that that's what a primer does. In any event, people, I am just going to just keep on keeping on. This is what I do. I'm not going to cause any riots. I am not going to throw rocks. I'm not, mm, no, no, not me. I go in, I clock in. I do my hours, I clock out, give me my paycheck. That's it. That's it. Done. Done. So there you have it, people. So that was that was the day. That was the review. Didn't last no more than like 15 minutes. Seriously. That's really how, maybe even 10. I don't know. You know, praise you, praise you, praise you, then throw you off the cliff. It, it is what it is, people. Oh, but I forgot to tell you. Thank goodness I looked over at my notes. Okay, remember a couple of weeks back, I was telling you that one day I was having lunch and I was watching um, downstairs where, you know, where in the commissary where I had lunch. And there was this, this cute pudgy guy on the TV on ESPN. And his name is Michael Collins. Well, I found Michael Collins' page on Facebook. And I PM'd him a message and totally forgot about it. Last night, I opened up my Facebook and there's a PM waiting for me. And it's from Michael Collins. Now, mind you, I forgot who <laughs> I forgot who it was. So I'm like, who the hell is Michael Collins? So I clicked to open, of course, because it's a private message. So I clicked it open. And then I instantly remembered. And I'm like, oh. <gasps> Oh, my sweet Jesus, he wrote me back. And what I had written him, I was telling him that, you know, I think he's really attractive. Thinking that he was not even going to even see what I had written. Oh, he saw what I wrote. And he was like, thank you, pretty lady. And I will continue to try to make you laugh. I was like, you going to continue to try to make me laugh? How you going to do that? You going to ask me out? Uh, no, Nancy, it's not that serious. But, you know, I was like, well, thank you very much for your response. I really appreciated it. And that was the end of our chat. 
I was hoping for a rather lengthy conversation. But um, I think that's really going to be the end of that. I don't think he's going to write you anymore, Nancy. But it was nice that he did anyway. He is cute. He's short and he's cute. Now, he's short. Deb, you know, you helped me out to figure out if he was short or not. Okay, he's short. But I don't think he's shorter than me. Hopefully, he's about 5'7". I don't know. Why do I need to bother? It's not like I'm going to be going out with the man. So why should I care? It's a nice dream. It's a nice dream. Okay? And he is funny. And he is cute. He's got a great smile. So, yeah. If you guys don't know who he is, Google Images Michael Collins Golf. Because that's what he's known for. He was a golf caddy at one point. And I think he wants to be... Tiger Woods' golf caddy, or he was he always wanted to be Michael Woods' golf caddy. You have to, because there's a whole bunch of Michael Woods who are athletes and everything. You have to, you have to put Michael Wood, My, Michael Woods, Michael Collins, excuse me, Tiger Woods, Michael Collins. Michael Collins golf. And you'll probably see a round faced, 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 a round faced guy with a really great smile. And he is the one I'm attracted to. Okay. Not all of them have to look like Brad Pitt and Keanu Reeves. Okay. Not all of them. It could be a smile that just makes me go like that. It could be your sense of humor. The days of, oh, he's fine. They're not totally gone, but they're not as prominent as when I was in my 20s because I would only go with good looking guys. Only go out with good looking guys. Or guys who I thought were good looking. I couldn't care less whether they had a sense of humor or not. They just had to be fine. It just had to be fun. If you weren't fine, I wasn't going out with you. This is why I'm single today, people, because I must have lost out on a whole lot of other great guys out there. But because they weren't up to my standards, I missed out. Well, calm as a bitch. You're alone now. So, in any event, I'm not going to be crying you no damn river. Don't worry about it. It's not that serious. I'm happy. Just as long as I'm happy with myself, that's all that matters. Would I be happier if I were sharing the rest of my life with somebody? I'm almost certain. Yeah, sure. But am I going to cry a river and, you know, take off all my cold clothes and cry in a corner naked? No, that's not going to happen. So there you go. So that's that with that upon that. It was nice to just receive a PM. He didn't have to, you know. He didn't have to PM me. But he did. In any event, Mr. Man is over there in the windowsill. He doesn't want to be bothered with anybody. He doesn't want to talk to anybody. He just wants to look out the window. So looking out the window, he is. He's looking out the window. And there you have it. Just as peaceful as peaceful can be. Oh, look like he spotted something. I love him to bits. Love him to bits. Of course, he did throw up a little bit this morning because he got greedy. And I knew, I knew that I had given him just a little bit too much food in the bowl. But I'm thinking, nah, he won't do anything. He sure as hell did. But he threw up and I didn't see it. It was when I came out of the shower. I see him licking something off the off the carpet. I'm like, what are you? And then I realized he was eating his own vomit. Why do cats do that? Why do they do so such disgusting stuff like that? And I had to shoo him off and clean up the rest of the mess. And why? <sighs> That's my baby. Okay. My baby. <laughs> Love him so much. Okay, well, that's that. Okay, people, so that's, you know, this is short and sweet and to the point as opposed to any other uh, of my other videos. This one's pretty short and sweet and to the point. This is cherry blossom, honey. <laughs> I don't know if you can still find this, but you could probably Amazon it or eBay it. I'm sure you'll find it. And tomorrow is Thursday. Tomorrow is payday. Okay, just give me my check. If I, if... 
If it's more than necessary, if it's more than necessary, it's always necessary. If it's more than it is, than it normally is, then I'll be very, very thrilled. But if it's the regular, then it's the regular. It is what it is, people. Okay. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. And I will talk to you tomorrow. I'll let you know whether I got a raise or not. I'll let you know. I love you now. Bye.